Good morning, my fellow white shavers. Today I have Henry Cavendish, and this is uh, Himalaya from K Henry Cavendish um, with shea butter and soy. It's a vegan based uh, soap. This was my first wet shaving soap that I purchased about a year ago when I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I haven't used it since then. It came in a puck. I don't have the packaging anymore. and um, I've only used this once and that was the very first time before I started purchasing artisan stuff. This is an artisan soap as well I suppose but um, uh, I haven't heard anyone use Henry Cavendish so anyways that's what this is. We're going to use the Omega 10066 uh, bore brush. It's been soaking full of water here and we'll get to lathering. Uh, I bought this off of Amazon. I went and checked my orders um, in 2018, actually, so it's been two years. Uh, and it's very foamy starting off, but we'll get around that, hopefully. Hopefully this isn't a Mitchell's Wolfat uh, variant. I'm just kidding. Um, I bought this off of Amazon for $13.50. It's a 3.8 ounce puck when you buy it, uh, 107 grams. And uh, that comes out to $3.55 per ounce, if you're curious on that. Uh, the... Oh, well, they're just getting a little better. I'm using my... Uh, this is like a generic mug, right? But that's who, that's who it's from. I think the same exact mug I've seen on a couple of websites for like several... Like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I bought this off of Amazon as well for like 10 bucks. So anyways, it just it's branded by whoever this is. But other companies may rebrand them and put... A higher price tag just because of the name whatever um this is a glycerin based soap glycerin coconut oil castor oil sodium hydroxide uh water safflower uh, safflower seed oil and sorbitol um obviously shea butter and soy like i said earlier uh sorbitol 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 is a sugar alcohol found in fruits and plants like i said this is 100 percent vegan uh, base all right i'm letting all the Foamy stuff, get out of here. I believe I've loaded this well enough. Like I said, this is really my first use with this soap. Um, when I first bought it two years ago, I used it once with the Escali and didn't really know what I was doing. Um, I don't remember it being a bad shave, but whatever. All right, that's the load. I'm gonna rinse off this handle because my, my hands have been all up in that mess. Let's see. So, I don't know much about this base, other than it's a glycerin base. I don't know if it's, like I said, we'll, we'll find out. I am using a straight, so this might be a bit of a bloodbath. I hope not. Maybe I shouldn't use a straight when I'm using the soap for the first time, but I'm on the wild side, I don't know. Um, the scent before I lather is approximately two, two to three. It's not very strong. After lather, maybe go up to it three and a half, four, so not not incredible as far as the scent um, strength goes. The actual scent itself, it's a it's a fresh scent, almost salty. Um, and I, I couldn't find any information as far as why it's called Himalaya. I know that there's Himalayan salt, right? But um, other than that, I don't know why it's called Himalaya. Himalaya with shea butter and soy by Henry Cavendish. So that's what this is. Um, but it's kind of salty smelling. Anyways, we'll see what kind of lather we can build here. And um, we'll start with the shave. ton of water to this. Um, I dipped the brush at least four to five times. So this soap could definitely take its water and um, 
it seems pretty slick just based on what I'm wiping off. So hopefully we'll have a good shave with it. It built up a nice lather too. I mean the brush is full, so can't complain with that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this straight razor shave started. The razor I'm using today is my GD Gold Dollar uh, 1966 with acrylic scales. Um, it's become one of my favorite gold dollars. Just, I don't know. I like the acrylic scales. Yeah, they're cheap, but to me they look nice. A couple of bumps were chopped off, but uh, maybe a nick or two, but nothing I won't survive. I don't even think I've stropped that razor since, actually, no, I know I haven't stropped that razor since last use. Um, soap is slick. I wouldn't say it's the slickest, nor has it been the non-slickest I've used, so... I guess it kind of falls in that mid-range category for slickness. Um, Post-shave feel, I expect to be decent with this, considering it... Uh, there's flying everywhere. Considering it being uh, like high in oils, castor oil, shea butter, etc. So, hopefully the post-shave is nice. I'm still using an aftershave with this. Um... But yeah, so far so good. Like I said, it made a nice lather. Better than uh, another soap that I've struggled lathering in the past couple of weeks. If you've watched my videos long enough, you'll know which one that is. Have a couple of cry babies there. There. Got myself there pretty good. Hmm. Actually, it's just a small cut. It's, it's not bleeding as bad as the crybaby on my chin. Really can't put that on the soap. I went in at a bad angle, way too steep. And that's what happens whenever you, uh... Go at a steep angle with a straight. There is no guard on the straight, guys. <laughs> Obviously. There is just a lot of pain and, and cuts. So make sure you keep that straight at a 35 or, or less of an angle to your face, the spine close to your face, or else this will happen. But like I said, it's not bad. Definitely nowhere near what I had up here. My goodness, up there. Now, when I put my aftershave on, this aftershave definitely burns the one I'm using. Right here. Oh, yeah, that's the face right. Aqua Bell was ice blue.
Well, I didn't kill myself, and we had a few crybabies along the way. We also had a few uh, unhappy campers as well, but it is what it is. Again, this is uh, Aqua Velva's Ice Blue. Plenty of alcohol, smells okay. Nothing to write home about. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Feels like a champion. That burns. But you know, the initial burn is what hurts. I'm going again, by the way. This is very bluish type of uh, aftershave as well. The second time you will apply the aftershave though, burns far less. So. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. This was Henry Cavendish. I don't have the box, so I'm just kinda showing you. That's the puff that I melted down. Henry Cavendish, uh, Himalaya. Again, kinda like a fresh, salty smell. That's what I'm getting. Uh, Omega 10066 Boar. We went with, uh, open her up. The Gold Dollar Acrylic Candles. Um, GD 1996. And we went with Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Hope y'all see me next shave. Later.